Well, what the hell? Why not? I, um, a little explanation. I was going to try, well, I was going to take a day off because I just, I'm not really feeling it. And um, I'm not feeling anything today. Uh, today, I think is the day they, because they, we, last time I was at the doctors, we were talking and she, uh, they mentioned, um, so they asked me about the drugs that I, that I, you know, I'm still taking and, you know, because they want to know, know all this stuff. And, and the one is that I'm not taking is the steroids that they prescribed for me because um, when I took the steroids, it was for, no, they said take it for nausea. So they said take it right after um, you've had your, your, your uh, chemo and stuff. The only problem is they also give you steroids with the chemo. It's part of your cocktail. So they put steroids in you. And then talking to them, I found out that the steroids probably last three to four days. Um, so my steroids have probably worn off today which means I'm not having any energy, which they said w it would totally happen um, when the steroids w wore off. Um, <clears throat> but that also gives me so much less energy. It's not funny. The only problem is I am so scared of taking their steroids. It's not funny because when I was taking their steroids for the nausea, um, it was just, it was over the top. It was like, you know, putting more steroids into me in the first place is just a dumb idea in the first place. It's like, you want to give me more testosterone? <laughs> uh, no. Um, so when they do that, it goes from, I would say that uh, if I was assertive before, I turns to super aggressive. And that ain't cool. And so I'm super scared of taking the steroids. Um, I really don't have anyone to interact with. I do have to take the dog for a walk, though. So if I run into any of my neighbors, it could be a problem. So, um, you know, these are things that I'm just scared of. And I also want to give my hands a chance to breathe because I've had the band-aids on them. I haven't had, a, I put tape on my thumb, but I want to give my, my fingers a chance to breathe. And I can't really play right now. So, um, I mean, I can a little bit, but it hurts sometimes. If I hit the wrong thing without the, the band-aids on it, that extra cushioning, it hurts hurts so do i want to come out here and play play a tune for you yeah i really do do i want to come out here with, with a positive and, and amazing vibes yeah i do can i i'm not sure that i can so uh so uh let's, let's try just a really quick um and this is gonna suck because i can't hold the pick very well and it keeps sliding out out of my fingers and, and it's not a good scene man it's not a good scene but let's try if we can do something here you know sliding out of my hand it's not funny man and that's not cool um yeah so i'm just trying to make it through this that's all. <laughs> with a smile on my face because i want y'all to have the good energy and this this isn't you know i might be talking about bad things but you know what i am super super happy to be here i'm super happy to just be alive and I'm super happy that God get me up for another day and that he gave me a chance to heal so that I can take a day off and I can heal and I can come back tomorrow and maybe be stronger, you know? That's all, all I'm trying to do is just trying to improve on the day and, and their drugs ain't helping. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to fight through this. <laughs> Best I can. And... I do have listening to music, so I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to go study some more music and, uh, you know, see what happens. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just a healing. I need a little bit of time, and it's a little bit of healing, and 
and I thank God for the for for the uh, for the time to do it. And and I thank thank God for you guys because, like I said, man, you guys are a lot of my psychiatry these days. Freya, um, and uh, you know, it just makes me feel better, and so does she. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I hope you all is having a great day. Uh, always look up. Um, oh, and geez, Louise, I for, almost forgot because I've I've been the other thing with the with the treatment stuff is. I have been wanting to respond to all y'all's comments so much, but I kind of can't. Um, I want to do it by, by typing responses, and between my fingers and my eyes, I can't because I can read the comments, but by the time I start either typing on my phone or on a keyboard, I just, my eyes, I can't focus very well, and my fingers and my brain have me mistype everything, and it gets so frustrating it's not funny and i want to respond to everybody so much it's not funny but i'm just unable to right now and um it's irritating and uh and i'm sorry i mean i am i am truly sorry that i can't do that right now and i feel bad i feel super bad because i really want to and and uh i just i can't and i'm sorry and uh i'm gonna fight through that too man one of these days i'm gonna get there i'm gonna, I'm gonna have some amazing responses and i'll probably be like six months and at, at a date but uh but um, I'm trying, man. I'm trying, trying hard. And sometimes I try too hard, which is why I have to, to stop a little bit sometimes, you know. Um, I, I always try too hard. And uh, for, for people that have experienced that, I'm, I'm sorry too. Um, I really am because I just, if I get excited about things and I, I see things that are amazing, I just try way, way, way too hard. And, and I'm sorry. And uh, it's probably gone on way too long, and uh, you probably didn't care, and uh, I had to get it out anyway, so thank you for listening. Always look up. He's there for you, and uh, oh, yeah, the like, comment, subscribe, please do. Um, I will try to respond when I can, um, but right now I'm just kind of unable. It's physical and, and mental, and, and, and I, I apologize, and always look up. He's there for you. I'm going to because tomorrow is going to be a better day. It really is, and I'm going to see you then. Peace.